All right, so for reading today in our Journeys Practice Book, we're starting on page 10. And remember yesterday we talked about nouns. Who can remind us what is a noun or what are nouns? Logan, what are nouns? Person, place, or thing. So what would be an example of a person that's a noun? Caitlin. Boy or girl, good. Or like Mr. Clark is a noun or Mrs. Page is a noun. Good. What about um, a place? What's a place that's a noun? When? Exactly. Good. Gwen, school, restaurant, house, those are all nouns. Those are all places. What about things that are nouns? Logan? What'd you say? Toys. Good. What else, Carter? Pencils. Good. Books, paper, columns. Parking lots. Good. That might even be, well, I guess that could be a place or a thing. That's true. Good. And then also animals are nouns too. So on this page, we're going to look at some different animals that are nouns. So this page is very easy. All you have to do is go through and label these pictures with these words. So your words up here say mouse, bird, dog, cat, bear. Okay, so like picture number one, what is that a picture of? Alana, bird. So you're just going to write the word bird, which is the second word in the box, on the line. So B I R D. It's bird. All right, so you're going to write bird on the line, on the first line. What is picture number two? Alana. Bear. Picture number two is bear. Bear is B-E-A-R. What is picture number three? Mason. Mouse. Very good. M-O-U-S-E is mouse. What is picture number four? Kaden. Cat. Very good. C A T is cat. And the last one, Colin, is dog. Okay, good. Yeah, you probably could get this finished pretty easy. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next page, okay? So if you're still writing, you can keep writing, just listen for the next page. So, we're also going to do page 11, but I want you to actually flip it over because we're going to do page 12 first. So go to page 12. Turn to page 12. Nope, we're going to go back to it. So don't cross it out or anything. It's just that we're going to do page 12 first and then come back to page 11 because that one might take us a little bit longer. So go to page 12, please. If you are still filling in the animals one, I want you to go to page 12 anyway so we can do this together and then you can go back to the animals one. Okay? Page 12. So Miles, go ahead and flip to page 12. Christian, page 12. All right, on page 12, it says to write the correct word to complete each sentence. So sentence number one says, this blank is for the cat. It gives us two different words that we can use to put in that sentence. We have the word mat and dad. Which word makes sense in that sentence? Helen's. Mat. This mat is for the cat. It rhymes. So you're going to write the word mat on the line. So 
number one, you're writing the word mat. Number two, I blank with it. Dad or sat? Which word makes sense in there, Parker? I sat with it. S A T sat. So we've done number one and number two. Number three says, I blank mad. Matt or am? Caitlin. Am. I am mad. Stay with me, friends. Number three, Pat is blank the play. At or am? Alana. At Pat is at the play. A-T. Number five says, we like the blank. Man or at? Logan? Man. We like the man. Very nice. Man. And number six. Can someone read that one for us with the word that should go in there? Christian, go ahead. We have cat and dad. Dad, very good. We sat on dad. Oh, poor dad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to, to crack it? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so fill those in. I see a lot of you have it all filled in. Good job. Do you? <laughs> funny. What, you still tackling? All right, so we're going to go back to page 11. Gwen, are you ready? And it says, draw four pals. What are pals? What does it mean if you're a pal? Or what does that mean? Isabel? A friend. Exactly. Pals are friends. So all you have to do is draw four different friends or four different pictures of friends in the box. And then it says to show details. So that just means you're going to, like, make their hair or kind of you're going to add color. So you can use your crayons or color pencils. And that says to write labels for your pictures. So if you want one of your friends to even be one of your pets, like if you have a cat or a dog, you can fill in your cat or dog's name on the line and then draw a picture. Or if one of your brothers or sisters is your friend, like my, I have a, a younger sister and her name is Shelly. So I would say that she's one of my friends. So I'm going to draw a picture of my sister Shelly. Or if I wanted to say, like, Mrs. Bragg, she is one of my friends. I could write Mrs. Bragg on there and draw a picture of her. Okay? Can sit down, please. No, I need you to sit, please. Okay, so you're going to pick four friends and then draw pictures of them. Okay? And then color them with crayons or color pencils, not markers, because they really, like, bleed through this paper. All right. All right, and then that's all we're doing in our journey's practice book for today.